creating us a clean heart, oh God. Renew our right spirit. Cast us not away from your presence. Oh. Accept our worship, God. As we come before our holy God, I call you not unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. As he is holy, be he holy. Oh, God Almighty, so we cleanse our heart this morning. Before we bring our sacrifice to you. As we surrender our heart to you, Jesus. As we enter into your presence, and we go behind the veil, burn out everything that will stop your presence. Burn out everything that will stop the blessing. Burn out everything that is not of you and fill us with your spirit. With you, a right spirit before a holy God. Hallelujah, God Almighty, and we bless you. Accept our heart. Accept our spirit today, God. And we bow before you. Clean us inside out, God. Ah, oh, God Almighty. Every other spirit that wants to manifest that is not of you. We are in agreement this morning. Hallelujah. And we nullify, we cancel, we burn it with the fire of God. And we release the Holy Ghost to manifest. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, God Almighty. Take care of Take complete control. 
Only you are 
own words. He deserves the praise this morning. He deserves the honor this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus.
God. We honor God this morning and the presence of an awesome God. We glorify God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We want to greet our pastor and his wife, all the officers and all the members that are here today at Rescue the Perishing. Uh, gather together in worship on Youth Sunday. We give God thanks that you are here to worship. And we have come for no other purpose and no other reason but to rejoice, amen? Yes. We have come to worship today, amen? Ah, oh, come on, worshipers, we have come to worship, amen? Yes. Praise as we have come to praise, yes. amen? Yes. All glory to God. Yes. In spite of our circumstances, yes. we still have a praise. Amen. In spite of what's going on, we still have our worship. Amen. All glory to God. The enemy wants us to be focused on our circumstances and what's not going right. But we're going to give our thanks to what is going right. We are alive and we are well, yes? We are closed in our right minds. We are closed. We are food. We are going to rejoice today. In spite of, we still have a praise. Hallelujah. All glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Today we are here. It's Youth Sunday. And we are here as children of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And we're going to worship God. Please join me in standing and turn to the book of 1 Peter 3. Our day's lesson will be taken from 1 Peter 3. And it's gonna, we're going to be led by Sister Marie Crooks. Please stand to the reading of God's word. 1 Peter Chapter 3. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. All glory to God. We magnify you, Lord. We 
bless your holy name. Our lesson. First Peter chapter 3. And it reads us. Likewise, ye wives. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. <coughs> Whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of plaiting the air, and of wearing of gold, or of putting on of apparel. For after this manner, in the old time, the holy women also, who trusted in God, adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughter is our God, and you do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being hearers together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion for one of another, as ye have been brethren, be beautiful, be Not rendering evil for evil, or railing for railing, but contrary wise blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them which do evil. And who is he that will arm you, if he be followers of that which is good? But and if you suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are you, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Having a good conscience, that we are to speak evil of you, as of evil words, being in the shame, the fallen For it is better, if the will of God be so, that ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing. For Christ also had one suffered for sin, just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put dead in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. By which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. Who at one time were disobedient, when one the law of God, waited in the days of Noah, Twenty-one and twenty-two together. The like figure, figure whereunto even baptism doth also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who is gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto Him. We have read a portion of God's holy word, and so we honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Marie. Please grab your hymnals, and we're going to sing from our hymnals, hymn number 113, hymn number 113, Glory to His Name. Down at the cross where my Savior died, down where from cleansing from sin I cried, there to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to his name. Hymn number 113. Praise God.
pesca. The cross where my Savior died, down where from cleansing from sin I cried. There to my 113 was the blood of blood.
Come on, give glory to his name. Dear to my heart was the blood applied. And we say glory to your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ah, oh, we magnify you today for applying the blood to our hearts and to our lives. All glory to the name of the Lord. You may be seated with a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please put your hands together and make welcome Sister Alicia. She's going to come and she's going to welcome us today in the house of the Lord. Come on, make her feel welcome. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, give him thanks this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Surely God has been good to us, right? And it's Youth Sunday. Bless the Lord. And we are youths in the presence of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Before I go any further, I want to acknowledge my pastor, Pastor Dara Chambers, Pastor Evan Chambers, uh, Minister Wilkes, and Minister Dawkins, Minister Evangelist Douglas, um, the youth presidents, Evangelist Marsha Dunson, all the elects in the house, deacons and deaconess, evangelists, everyone. I just welcome you all in the mighty name of Jesus and greet you. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Is there any first time visitor with us tonight? Second time, third time, first, second, third. Praise God. You can stand still. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Thank you for being here, sister. God bless you. <laughs> Praise God. Um, before I go any further, I just want to share something. It's going to take one minute. Praise God. Um, praise God. The company I work with, um, we had this vendor that worked with us. Praise God. And he, before on Thursday, he posted something on Facebook and said, Max Art, Max Art Card Company is very grateful. Every day, let us live it. You know, let every day, it's, it's very grateful, but let every day count that we live. In other words, we don't know what tomorrow might be, right? Yeah. We don't know what the next minute might be, praise God. And with, right after he made that post, he died. Yeah. Just okay. like that, praise God. But today we are here just to give yeah. God thanks. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're just, we're just here just to give him the honor because we don't know what the next minute, the next second, the next, yeah. next hour might be. We have to be grateful for the life that God has given unto us this morning and how we have to just give him back the praise that he deserves. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just give him the honor that he deserves. Hallelujah. Come on, worship him. Worship him and just tell him how thankful you are. Praise God. Praise God. So just sit back and relax. Relax with a praise in your mouth and give God, God the glory that he deserves. Enjoy the rest of the service. There's a Amen. word in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless someone say bless our Lord. Bless she never meant to say relax. Someone say bless our Lord. Praise the Lord. Have a seat, sister. No, we don't relax in church. Praise the Lord. But pray for her. She pray for her in Jesus' name. Praise God. Come on, give it up for the Lord today. God is good. Amen. And we're going to sing again. Praise the Lord. Please grab your hymn now as we're going back into our hymn book. We're going to sister dance. We're going to sing again. Praise the Lord. Hymn number 199, 199, where the soul never dies. To Canaan's land, I'm on my way, where the soul never dies. My darkest night will turn to day, where the soul never dies. We're still in youth Sunday, amen? amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. The soul never dies. My darkest night will turn to day where the soul. singing. I never find it yet. Okay, 199. Are we all there? Somebody say we are all there. So we're going to all sing it, yeah? Praise the Lord. I'm on my way where the soul Oh 
Make sure you're on your way. The Bible said make your calling and your election sure. Come on, hallelujah. Where the soul of man never dies. Where all is joy and peace and love. The soul of man never dies. Neighbor, are you on your way this morning? Are you on your way this morning? May God help us today. May God help us today. Glory to the name of the Lord. Oh, where the soul of man never dies. Hallelujah. Come on, bless the Lord this morning. Come on, worship the Lord this morning. Come on, glorify the Lord today. You see, the enemy wouldn't mind distracting us and getting us sidetracked. That we lose sight of our goal and where we are going. Yeah. So we get caught up with all kind of isms and schisms. I don't want to talk to you. You don't want to talk to me. I don't want to forgive you. You hurt my feelings. And I can't look past that. I can't get past that. But come on, we're on our way to this place. We can't get there with malice. We can't get there with anger and unforgiveness. Come on, somebody. You see what will that go to hell? You won't go to that shining place. But may God help us this morning to put away all of the nonsense and get past that and see that the enemy is trying to get us distracted and we miss this place. Hallelujah. All glory to God. We're on our way to Canaan. We're on our way to Canaan. When the children of Israel were on their way to Canaan, they had all kind of issues. Yes. All kind of ites came against them. The Amalekites and the Ittites and the all kind of ites came against them. On their way to Canaan, God had promised them this land of milk and honey. God has promised us this place. And we're on our way to that place. And we have to recognize that we're going to be faced with our enemies and our trials. But we have to be encouraged and to know that the Lord of hosts is with us. And the God of Jacob is our refuge. So come on, church of God, lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates, and be ye lifted up. Ye everlasting doers, the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads. Open your eyes. And be aware that the enemy comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But God said, I am calm that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Church of God, we are on our way. As a family, as a rescued person, family, we are on our way. If you see a brother falling, come on, brother. Remember, Bishop, we are on our way. We are on our way. We are on our way. I'm not going to leave you. I see you falling. You're faltering. I'm not going to leave you, brother. We are on our way to Canaan's land. We are on our way together. There was a second us. We're all in this thing together. And we have to work it out. I got to work out my issues with you. I'm going to learn to live with you. Because we as a family rescue the perishing, we are on our way to Canaan's land. I don't want to look around and don't find my brother and my sister in Canaan land. Come on, somebody. We're on our way. We're on our way. We are on. Hallelujah. We are on our way. We are in this together. We are on our way. We as a family, you with the department, with the men's department, with the Sunday school, we are in this together. Yes. And we are on our way to Canaan's land. I want to let you. The army of the saying, no soldiers left behind. No man, no man, no man left behind. No man left behind. No man left, no man left behind. I won't leave it behind because you're too slow or you're faulting. I'm going to come on, we're going to we have to encourage each other. We have to encourage each other. I'm being encouraged this morning. Yes. I'm being encouraged today. Yes, we are on our way together. Yes, I don't know why the Holy Spirit is having me say this. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm saying this. But we are on our way. We are in this together. We are in this together. We are in this together. Hallelujah. We are in it together. I won't leave you. 
I won't leave us. It's the tissue now. We're in it together. We are in it together. Hallelujah. To Canaan's land, we are on our way. I'm not going without you. We're a family and we're all in this thing together. We have to work it out. We have to work it out. So if I didn't talk to you, right, come back and tell me, Sister Marsha, that, that, that wasn't right. Like that. that wasn't right. I, did, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. wasn't right. Come on, let's fix it. We're in this together. Glory oh, to the name of the Lord. We're in this together. We are in this together. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. All glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody just give God the praise. Let's give God the praise. Let's just stand up to us. Stand to our feet. Let's just stand to our feet and bless the name of the Lord. Let us glorify the King of Kings. Let us worship the Lord and God. The one who woke us up this morning and clothed us in our right minds. We didn't have to be here. But because of his grace, his mercies, his love, which is everlasting, his love which is sure. We give God the praise today. You may be seated in the presence of an awesome God. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. Oh, it's a God. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship. We worship you. We worship you. We bless your holy name. You are worthy of praise. You're worthy of praise. You're worthy of praise. You're worthy. God, you're worthy. God, you're worthy. God, you're worthy. God, you're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God, glory to God. Before we hear this morning's notices, praise the name of the Lord. Come on, give God praise. We are on our way to Canaan's land. The president of Mount Olive Bible School was on his way to Canaan's land where he didn't know that he would die. Just after a great appreciation service and get all the gifts and the money. Got the appreciation service Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, he was on the, in the hospital. Wednesday, he died. Come on, people of God. You don't know what will happen. That thing hit me so hard, it pulls me up. That when Pastor said, I opened my mouth and I stand at the car door and I was like, huh? He said, Bishop died. Austin died. He just died like that. Huh? Planning to take the class the Tuesday. Planning to open our Bible school and to encourage us for the next semester and the rest of the year. Didn't plan to die. But a massive heart attack. A massive heart attack came his way. And Wednesday he died. And some people are playing. You are playing. Like you know the future. Sister, brother, I start to make make sure I make it right with all you. Even if I make it right and I'm walking, I'm still not making it right with you. Because I didn't, he didn't plan. Bishop Austin didn't plan to die. But he's passed away. He has passed away. This it shocked me to really shake me. It live right, people of God. The evangelists encourage us. Sort out your differences. The other day, something happened. And I said to Pastor, "Me not going back there. I'm on my way to kill, and I'm not going back there. So you're not finding me back there, no." No, if you see me back there, something wrong, but I'm not going back there. I do too much things to go forward, and God is helping me to be not going back there. I'm on my way to Canaan's land. Where the soul never dies. And you want to know in hell, the soul don't die too. Praise the name of the Lord. It's frightening. I don't know, it, it frightens me. I've been awe. Walking and searching myself. 
Bishop Austin didn't plan to die. No. But he came. Jesus. I had to leave all the money and the gifts that he just got on Sunday. People of God, wake up. Touch your neighbor and say, wake up. wake up. If you're not walking right, start walk right. Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. You don't hold your life. You don't know what will happen. Somebody called me this morning and said they weren't coming to church. And I encourage such persons. And, and um, they, they don't know how they feel and they feel and they feel. And the feel, and I had to get in the Bible and start to tell them. And I've seen where God has delivered that person this yes. morning. Come on, yes. we're on our way to Canaan's land. Yes. Come on, ah, I'm not going to put down the phone and say, All right, sister, you have a good day. No, 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 we're on our way. Yes. We are Come in on. a fight. Come on, Come on. Yes. we are in a war. We are in a fight. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Another sister called me and said, Minister something I want to say. So she's here today. We're not going to take up all the time, but she, she, she wants to just let it out. So, Come, sis. Come on, let it out. Praise God. Hi, good morning. Well, it's good afternoon. Um, I'm Simone. I called her, um, I don't remember when it was, but it doesn't matter. I called her because I told her that I have three testimonies. Go ahead, sister. All of it happened in one day. Yes. And I told her that I could not <coughs> hold it in. Okay. I just have to tell everyone how God has been good to me. Amen. Um, well, you know, I haven't been at church for months, <laughs> however, she called me, she kept calling and I never answered. She finally called one more time, and I spoke to her and let her know what's going on. She encouraged me, and I start coming back. So, um, all right. The first one is with my job. One day, my super, there's a supervisor and a director. So my supervisor came to me. She said, Simone, the director needs to see you. Went into the office. The director is saying to me, oh, um, you're not performing well, and your other co-workers are doing this, and you're not doing this. I looked at her and I laughed. She probably thought I was crazy, but because I'm not accepting what she is telling me, that's why I smiled. I said, okay. Um, she was like, well, you're gonna have to try to work harder. I said, that's them, and this is me. So I just kept going to work, you know, doing my job, doing my job. Friday, that was two weeks ago. Friday that just passed, the same supervisor came to me. She said, Simone, you have an admirer. I said, what are you talking about? She was like, oh, um, Nancy, that's the director, the same woman that told me that I'm not doing as well as my coworkers. Oh, she told me that she really likes you and you're doing so well and you're always helpful. I said, excuse me? I said, ain't this the same lady that said that I'm not doing as well as my coworkers and now she's praising me? I said, that's nothing. I laughed. I said, that's God. That is God's work. Um, the second thing um, has to do with my daughter and her dad. She did not go to school for two days, Thursday and Friday. However, I don't have anyone to stay with her. So I have to pay someone to, you know, keep her. Um, I called her dad all day on Friday, all day. He's ignoring my calls because he's supposed to go and pay the money. I didn't hear from him. He ignored me. And I said, God, I can't believe this. I'm going to have to take money from my rent money to go pay. And I was so down and out. I did it anyway. I went to the bank, took the money. I went to the place, picked up my daughter, gave the lady the money, and I left. I see the lady running outside with the money. She's like, Simone. I said, what happened? She's like, no, her dad came. He paid the money already. <laughs> I said, what? I said, oh my God. I said, really? She said, yeah. She said, it's OK. And again, I said, God, this is you. I said, oh my gosh. 
I'm so thankful. Even though I didn't hear from him, he still went and paid the money. The final thing, I went inside my building, went into the mailbox, one letter in there, and I said, it's from the IRS. I said, oh my God, what is this? I said, tax time finished long time ago. I hope they're not telling me that I have to pay them. I said, Lord, you know that I already went. They took money for my rent. What? I don't even know what I'm going to do now. I opened it. It's a check from the IRS. Money that they owe me. I was at this point, I asked my daughter. I fell to my knees in my apartment, crying, just thanking him, thanking him. Because he came through for me. He's worthy, and I thank him. Every time I think about it and I just laugh, I said, God, you, you, you are, you are the greatest. Yes. All right. Thank you. Somebody said, bless our Lord. Glory to God. Checks in the mail, yeah? Finding money. Bills paid off. Come on. That's the knowledge. Checks in the mail, all right? Praise God. Just like someone see me after church, okay? Praise the Lord. See me after church. Praise God. Praise God. We give God thanks. We rejoice with those who rejoice, yes? We rejoice with those who rejoice. We're rejoicing with you. God bless you. Sister Simone, hi, welcome. Praise God. Welcome to Nathan's. God bless you. Glory to God. These are the announcements for today, September the today. Praise God. 28, praise the Lord. Greeting to the church, our visitors, and our viewers. Our address, the name of our church is Rescue the Person Deliverance Ministries. 455 Rogers Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11225. And our telephone number is 347-435-3532. Our weekly agenda, Sunday school begins at 9.30 a.m. Divine worship service begins at 10.45 to 2 p.m. Sunday night services begin at 6.45, except for tonight. I'll tell you some more about that. And Mondays from 10 to 8 to 10, is men's fellowship on a Tuesday at 7 p.m. We have prayer meeting followed by Bible studies from 8 to 10. On Thursday from, two, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., we have our weekly fasting service. And every first Thursday, we host a special fasting. Uh, the dress code is white. If you're not able to wear a full white, a white top is preferred. And every other Friday, the youth meet for youth fellowship and on the alternate Fridays is prayer meetings from 8 to 12. Please share the word to your friends. If they are unable to attend our Sunday services, they can watch us live on www.rtp, www.rtpdeliverance.org. We can also be seen on BCAT TV every Monday at 4.30 and 10.30 p.m. on Cablevision Channel 69, Time Warner Channel 56, RCN Channel 84, Verizon Fios Channel 44. Reminders, choir practices every Wednesday at 7.30, children, children's practice on Saturday at 2.30. Uh, Minister Chambers will inform you if there will be any changes. And the Lord's Supper will be done on every first Sunday of each month. Let us know if you are celebrating any important event so we can celebrate with you. And uh, there is no service here tonight. So there's no, nightly serv no night service tonight. Our pastor will, will be preaching at the Deeper Life Ministries in their convention. And he's inviting the entire church to join him. Our choir will also be singing. Choir, you know that? Praise the Lord. So there's no service here tonight, right? We're going to Deeper Life. We're going to join them in their men's convention tonight. Their address is, I think, it, it's something, it, where am I getting the address? They're on Rogers Avenue, right here by Rogers and Church Avenue, right there, so. Before you get to Church Avenue, that's, that's where they are. And that's where we're, we're supposed to be tonight. And the choir is singing also, all right, choir? 
Praise God. Oh, the level of it. Praise God. <laughs> Upcoming events. Our annual banquet will take place this Friday. Somebody said this Friday. This Friday. This Friday is our banquet. Adult tickets $85. Children $45. If you do not already have a ticket, you need to get your ticket today so we can have a head count. This is very important. Who do they come? very important that you, you, you need, it's a need that you get your ticket and we know you won't get it at the door, they're going to bar you out for the night. So you cannot come saying that you want to be a part of the bank. We need to have the head count today because the money, are, some money have been paid. Right, Sister Marie? Paid up front. And, the, and they, they want to know how many persons they are catering for. So he's begging me, please, please, please. See that you give me your name and that you're coming. Confirm the time the, the, that you're coming. Amen? So you need to see Minister Chambers if you are. Um, and, and Sister Hutchinson, please, Sister Marie, Sister Hutchinson, we need to know who is coming. Um, ask your neighbor, are you going to the bank? Ask your neighbor. You have a ticket? You have a ticket, neighbor? You have a ticket? You have a ticket, church sister? You need a ticket. If you don't have a ticket, you don't have a chance. You need a ticket. Praise God. There will be a prayer meeting next Friday night from 8 to 12, okay? 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. Next week, Friday, there's prayer meeting. Auxiliary convention will be October the 17th to the 19th. Octo August? No, wait. October. October 17th to 19th will be... Auxiliary convention. Please review the notice board for every upcoming event so that we can give our support to other churches. Um, thought for the week. Love is friendship that has caught fire. Yes. It is quiet understanding, mutual confidence, sharing and forgiving. It is loyal through good and bad times. Yes. It settles for less than perfection and make allowances for human weaknesses. So, love, friendship is love that has caught fire. It is quiet understanding, it is mutual confidence, it is sharing, it's forgiving, it is loyal through good times and bad times, it settles for less than perfection, and it makes allowances for human weaknesses. These are the announcements for the week of September the 25th to August, September 28th to October the 5th. Please act upon the ones that you can. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You're, you're still here? Praise Amen. the Lord. It's offering time. It's giving time. Amen. It's giving time. Yeah. And Brother Chris is going to come. He's going to lead us in the offering pledge. So please stand with your offering in your right hand. We're going to repeat the pledge. Yes, Sister Kenesha. We're going to repeat the pledge. Please make him welcome. Praise the name of the Lord. Please stand. Amen, George. Amen. Please stand in with, with your offering in your right hands. You repeat after me. As we give in today's offering, as we give in today's offering, we believe the Lord for, we believe the Lord for jobs are better jobs, jobs are better jobs, raises and bonuses, raises and bonuses, benefits, benefits, sales and commission, sales and commission, settlements, settlements, estates and inheritances, estates and inheritances, interest and income, interest and income, rebates and returns, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, checks in the mail. Mail. Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. Gifts, uh, gifts and surprises. Gifts and surprises. Finding money. Finding money. Bills paid off. Bills paid off. Bills paid off. Bills paid off. Debts demolished. Debts demolished. Debts demolished. Debts demolished. Royalties received. Royalties received. Royalties received. Royalties received. 
soul saved, soul saved, soul saved, and body is healed, and body is healed, and body is healed. It's offering time. It's offering time. It's giving time. It's giving time. It's giving time. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. While the offering is being collected, please make welcome Sister Amare Roden. He's going to come and minister while the offering is being collected. Praise God. In the same breath, we want to thank God for the success of our first prayer meeting on last Friday. And I trust that we are praying that it will grow until it grow. And the spillover is on Sunday. We did that. We did. We had a good turnout. Although more people could come, but the presence of the Lord was with us, and we give God thanks. Amen. You can come, it's from 8 to 12. You can come one hour, two hour, three hour. 
but come and pray with us. Amen. Yes, ma'am. They are about to come. We shall see the king. We shall see the king. We shall see the king when he comes. Great with me this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I love him this morning. I love him every day, but I'm just really feeling him this morning. Amen. 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 Oh, oh, glory to God. God. How many of you know he is able? Yes. He is able to do exceedingly, yes. abundantly, yes. above anything you can ask or think. Amen. 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 I know he's able. Yes. Amen. Choir knows he's able. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing for you right now. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Exceedingly, abundantly, nothing but more. All you can ask or think. According to God's power that worketh in you, in you, because God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill promise to you so don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you he's able glory hallelujah quiet come on sing right now God is able God is able to do just what he said he will do he's gonna So don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you, he's able. Glory to his name. Do you love him this morning? Sing it one more time, choir. Say, God is able. God. God is able, God is able, to, is able to do just what he said. Everything that he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise. and death is in the power of the tongue. So you, if you know he's able, say one more time, choir. He's able. Mm. Glory to your name, Jesus. I'm going to sing it right here. Listen. Oh, 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 oh. He's able. Sing.
No matter your trials, no matter your fears, no matter what, he's able. He's able. I tried him. He's able. He provided. He's able. He will not see me suffer. I'm begging for him bread. God at this time, we go, the choir, part of our choir will make their entrance at this time, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, praise God, we give God praise, hallelujah. When he calls me, I will answer, when he calls me, I will Somebody love the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, let those hands and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, he's worthy. Come on, God don't Hallelujah. need any dead praise this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Holy is worthy this morning. Hallelujah. God, we bless your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, true living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hush in your presence right now, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, Christ. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. Are you amazed? Hallelujah. Are you amazed? Are you grateful this morning? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus, we bless you. Yes, Lord. No one knew how alone I was feeling. And the emptiness I tried so hard to hide. Though I laughed and said my life is fine without you. I was covering up the secret tears I've cried. Then one day someone told me of your mercy. And the love you show the day in Calvary. There you died and purchased my redemption. There you broke sin's power and set my spirit free. I'm a man.
and those that can stand in the presence of God could we all stand those that can stand could we all stand sins are washed away praise God could we raise holy hands in the presence of an awesome God hallelujah come on open your mouth and love Jesus today come on give him a praise come on give him a sacrificial praise maybe I don't feel like it don't sound like something is going against me hallelujah but I have a praise in my mouth come on hallelujah come on defeat the devil by giving God glory come on hallelujah he kept me through the week I'm in my right mind I could have ended up in the hospital come on he paid my bills come on hallelujah Ah, oh, God Almighty sometimes I don't know where the money is coming from but here come God right on time hallelujah Come on, be grateful to God. Hallelujah. Raise hands and bless him. This is the day that the Lord has made. Come on, give him glory. Despite the doctor report, come on, give him praise. Despite what the mortgage look like, give him praise. Despite what the school fee look like, come on. Young people, it's your service. Open your mouth and raise your hands and bless God. Hallelujah. God is not only God of the whole, but he's a God of the young. Young people. Give God praise, give God praise, give God praise, give God praise, give God praise. The psalmist said, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah, we bless you today, Jesus. And we give you glory. We give you honor. We just want to say to Sister Nathan a happy birthday. Come on, say happy birthday, Sister Nathan. Praise the name of the Lord. I think these, these figures are, are, are easy to obtain. You stay there. Praise the name of the Lord. I've been there. Come on. Hallelujah. Don't laugh, Sister Murray. We're going there. <laughs> we are going there. And beyond. <coughs> oh, Jesus. When the four dip, and I dip with the four, I said, Jesus. And your head starts spinning all kind of thing. And uh, you look in the glass every day if the gray ears are coming. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. And before the, tr the, the four dip, some of it from the tree, and it's a go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Come on, huh? all the grandmas then. <laughs> Praise God. God is good. Come on, worship God. Worship God, Sister Mary. Raise your hand and bless God. The four are you going down, sir. Ah, uh, if you don't, you you're you gonna reach there one day, stay there and pass it. I wonder how you reach there. God is good, amen. amen. There is a word in the house for us today. There's a ream of word from yes, God. Yes. And I want us as young people, old people, middle age, whatever age, the age, I'm not saying old. I got trouble the other day by saying old. Oh Jesus, I got in trouble. Minister, that a word in your mouth. I said, What did I do? You say, Old people. And the choir. <coughs> I got in trouble. But the more mature, yes. that's the proper way, right? The mature. Yes. Give God praise. Yes. <laughs> and the more grace. There's a word for us today. A rima, rima, rima. Yes. Weren't you blessed on last week with the word? Yes. There was a, that was a word. And it is no less. So we really prayed Friday night. We prayed until we prayed until heaven fell. Hallelujah. And the glory shone around us. Hallelujah. And the presence of the Lord soak us. Because we seek to dwell in the pavilion. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want you to put your hands together. And make welcome our own minister. D. J. 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 It's J. Dawkins. I could say 
J. Gray D. Dawkins. Come on, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And as he comes, praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, give it up for the Lord. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Praise God. Somebody look at one of my pictures and they said, boy, I used to have a big head of soul. You know, but as time goes on, you know, we lose that, you know. And, you know, whether you call yourself senior citizen, mature, still whole, you get whole. That's why they call you that. But in no matter how you want to pretty it up, you still hold. <laughs> Amen. 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 Praise be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we're all getting there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And it means we are getting closer to our death. You know? Don't worry about the song. You know, it doesn't matter. Where we live, how much makeup we use, we're gonna die. <laughs> you know, the thing is, we, we are here preparing to go to heaven. And before you reach to heaven, you must die. Amen? Amen? Because we are not here to stay. We are just in time, as the preacher says, time outfit. This is just for a period of time. And then we're gone. And the next generation come. Amen? Amen? So we get in there. Amen. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And in, in eternity, there is no age. We look young in the morning, young in the evening, young a thousand years. We still look fresh and young. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to help me to sing the song. For it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the Lord.
is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you, you do. do. I should search throughout eternity, Lord, and I find there is none like you. There is none. Oh, there, there is none like you. No one else, yeah. No, no one else can, can touch, touch my heart. heart. It's so good to be here today for this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. God is a good God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise be to the name of Jesus. And I give honor and praise to, to the, the shepherd of the house and me shepherd, pastor, shepherdess. Pastor and pastor, pastoress, <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. Amen. Amen. I give glory to God for their lives and for the ministry that God has called them to. Amen. Amen. And for all the deacons and ministers and all the, all the missionaries and, and everybody. Everybody is a minister. Everybody is a minister. You're a minister in your own right. Because you have to minister to people. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise God. Whether you're ordained, yes or not. The moment you're called, you're called as a minister. Amen? Yes. Yes. Amen. Praise God. You might not be recognized, but you have a call of God upon your life as a minister. Amen? Yes. 
Praise God. So to all of us ministers and saints of the Most High, we just bless God for your life and for your commitment and your walk in Jesus. Amen? Amen. Praise be to the name of Jesus. And for you that are on Ustream and the internet, hallelujah, we bring greetings and praise and honor to God for your life, for listening to us today. Amen? Amen. Because you can tune into something else. But thank God you're tuning in into us and listening to us today. Amen. And we bless God for you. Amen. I want you to turn your Bibles with me to Isaiah chapter 58. Isaiah 58. And verse 12. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 12. And they shall be of thee shall build the old waste place. And thou shalt rise up the foundation of many generations. And thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach. The restorer of the path to dwell in. This morning I want to speak to you on the topic repairing the breach or the repairer of the breach. Amen. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Is there anybody downstairs? Is there any young people downstairs? Could you kindly ask them to come upstairs? I want everybody to be in this house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let everybody come. We come to service. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Young Hallelujah. Young Hallelujah. Young people Sunday. So we want all the young people to be in the house of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. The repair of the breach. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, God, that you are God. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You never change. And, oh, God, I thank you for the anointing. For the anointing shall break every yoke and set the captive free. Father, in the name of Jesus, grant me clarity as I speak your word today. Father, just bless your word to our hearts. Bless us, oh, God. Bless Oh God, bless every single one of us, oh God, that will hear God. Let the word come forth with power. Oh God, let it come forth with clarity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I say thanks. Amen. Amen. The repairer of the breach. I was at work and a thought came to me about the breach. And this scripture came to me, it came in my mind. And I said, repairer of the breach. And I keep on thinking on it. So when I got my lunchtime, I went uh, and, and I used my phone and I googled the word breach. And to my amazement, I found out that the word breach had to do with contract, you know. When somebody have a contract and they breach the contract. Yeah. But I also found out that the word mean a gap in the wall. Yeah. A gap in the protective wall that is set forth to protect you. Yeah. A gap that the enemy had found that they can come through to you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And so when I, when I came home and I began to listen to the news, it says that Home Depot, 53 million debit and credit card had been breached. Somewhere somebody find a way beyond the security of Home Depot to get in their system. Yeah. And as I begin to look at this word and, and look at it, what it means to breach something. Yeah. 
And as I begin to look on and how they used to operate in the Old Testament time. In the Old Testament, when they built a city, they used to build the city upon mountains or upon a hill. And they would have huge walls around that city to protect that city from being taken by the enemy. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes it is very difficult to penetrate or to get into the security of that city yeah. because of the position in which the city was built. Yeah, but somewhere along the line, they try to find a little corner or try to breach the wall or to make a seizure or, a, a, or make a split in the wall so that they can come in and destroy you. Yes, come on, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Breaching. I don't know if you are here today and something has been going on in your life that every time that you try to overcome, it seems as if the enemy have a way to get through to you. Amen. Your wall had been breached. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your wall, I bring bridge. Hallelujah. The first time that ever a bridge was taking place was in the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Because when God made Adam and Eve, there was a protective glow over them. There was, they were, as it were, surrounded by the glory of God and that nothing could touch them. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. There was a protective glow. And, 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 and the enemy and nothing could touch them because the protection of the glory of God was upon Somebody says that the devil is like a sligo fox. If I could catch him and put him in a box, hallelujah, lock up the box and throw away the key for all those tricks he played on me. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. And when the devil saw, saw Adam and Eve in the garden and God placed a tree in the middle of the garden and God says, don't touch it. Don't eat of it. very carefully. He find a way to breach the security, the glory that was placed over Adam and Eve. What do you think he looked for? He saw that the serpent, as the Bible says, was more subtle than all the beasts of the field. Amen. 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 And he saw the subtleness of the serpent. What do you think he did? He decided to use the serpent. Yes, yes, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord. I'm come getting on. somewhere. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. And I want you to listen to me. That's why I want everybody to listen to me carefully. If you don't listen, you're going to miss the message today. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm a teacher of the word. I'm teaching you something that happened. And, and the revelation that God gave me from this word. Amen. Amen. The devil cannot come in his real form. In the spirit form on, to Lord. attack you. Come on. He used something. Yeah. Yes. This trap. Come on. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You see, when God created the earth realm, He created in a natural form. The spirit realm was first created, and then God created. 
create a natural realm. In the natural realm, no spirit is allowed to operate without a body. That's why the devil had to find somebody yes. that he can operate through. Every time when, when the enemy come against you, he will kill people. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. He never come as he is. No, come on. This he will kill people because he used somebody's body. Because in the natural realm, no spirit is allowed to operate without a body. Therefore, the enemy, the devil is a trespasser. Hallelujah. He is not supposed to be operating in her realm. So he used the body of the serpent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you're a trespasser. Yes. That's why demons, the demons are disembodied spirit. Yes, yes. They roam around without body. And guess what? They seek for a body to, to operate through. Because God had made it that way. He God himself to take the form of a man to operate in her. Hallelujah. And so he tried to get through the defense. Yes. And he spoke to Eve through the serpent. And this morning I carry an apple. I demonstrate something some time ago with an apple. Are you with me this morning? Come on. God says to, to Adam and him, you see that tree? You see the fruit on the tree? Don't touch it. Don't eat it. You may eat of all the fruit of the tree that is in the garden, but that one, leave it alone. Come on, come on, come on. You know how much trees that was in the garden? But the single one that God said, don't that's touch, that's and that then touch. Yes. You ever see some people, on, they, they, yes. they, they write wet paint, yes. and yet still people go and touch that. Say, Whoa, it's wet enough. You know? <laughs> God said, don't touch it. But yet still, they touch it. Hear this. He said, and God said it. He's trying to make a breach that you shall surely die. But God, 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 God don't really mean exactly what he was saying, that you shall surely die. God know that if you heed it, you shall be as God, knowing what is good and what is evil. He look at it. Oh Lord Jesus. And he buy into the suggestion. And she looked at the fruit. And it says it looked good. Yes. It looked pretty. Yes, yes. It looked red. Come on. By the way, it was an apple. Come on. I'm just using this to just demonstrate something. And she took of it. And she ate. Give it to her husband. Hmm. And everything go here while. Yes, yes. Have you ever done something and when you do it, you say, my God, I'm sorry that I did that. Yes. You know, it, 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 you, should, you know that you should not have done it and you did something that was very wrong. Yes, come on. But in your heart, you want to do it. But when you did it, you realize that you had done something that was very, very wrong. 
And that was what happened to Adam and Eve when they realized that they had done something that was very wrong. They realized and their eyes was open. They realized that they were naked. They realized their conscience began to plague them. They began to realize that something had happened. That they had opened the door to let the enemy come. Bridge. He find a way to bridge. Hallelujah. He find a way. And I want you to listen to me very carefully. Because you see, sometimes sometime we go through stuff. Sometimes we go through things. And we don't even realize that sometimes we have a door open. We have, we have doors that open. And sometimes the enemy is coming through that door. Yes. Us to, to tempt us to bring us down so that we can enjoy the things of God. Yes, come on. Come on, Lord. Watch. Come on, watch. God had two sons. Two sons that God had. Adam, the creative son. Jesus, the only begotten son. So what happened in Adam is that the, 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 it was breached and Adam allowed the enemy to come through. And when the enemy come through, everything was messed up. Yes, come on. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. God. Everything, the entire creation was messed up. The, hallelujah. The plants and everything. When Adam was in the garden, yes. before he sinned against God, he didn't even he didn't even have to ask God for anything because the blessings of God was dear around him. Yes, yes. Come on, Lord. Come on. Come on, Lord God. Come on, Lord. When he was in the, in the glory of God, guess yes. what? Yes. It was God who come to visit him. Yes. God, Jesus. Hallelujah. It was God who come to visit Adam. Yes. Hallelujah. But when he sinned, God had to be looking for him. Hallelujah. So he messed up badly. But guess what? The Bible says that he would restore the breach. And Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. And when he come, he will restore that which had had been broken. Lord Jesus, somebody help me. I want you to get this message today. I want you to get the message today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So one man messed up. The first Adam messed up. Jesus Christ, the second Adam, come to, to fix up that which was messed up. So if the devil had messed you up, and bad things that happened to you. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, is able to, to repair the breach. He's able to fix you up. He's able to set you right with him once more. He's able to bring you back into the garden, into the glory, into the favor, into the blessing. Jesus Christ come yes. to restore, restore, to bring back man into God's glory. Yes, yes, yes. I hear the de David in the psalm says, he restored my soul. Hallelujah. He said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because thou art with me with his wrath and his time. Is a table that is spread before my enemy, but hallelujah, he in the presence of my enemy, he will restore my soul. Somebody need to be restored. Somebody need to be restored. Because you have been battered and bruised, and I've been lashed by tongues of men. You have been set down and put down. But Jesus is saying to you today that he will repair the bridge. Come on, Lord 
young and people as it were seems to walk upon you your mother, your father your siblings, your, your friends and, and all your neighbors and everybody, they look at you and they have been putting you down but this time hallelujah, the Lord is saying to you that I will repair that breach that the enemy is using to get to you have I restored Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Jesus said to tell you this morning that he's going to restore you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get ready for the move of God because God is going to restore you. He's going to please you back. He's going to put you back. He's going to take off that old garment. He's going to put on new clothes on you. He's going to give you brand new shoes. He's going to repair it. He's going to repair it. Yes. Come on, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He is going to do it. Yes. Come on, talk somebody and say, God is going to restore you. Your joy is coming back. The favor of God is coming yeah. back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The God of your salvation said to tell you this morning that he's going to restore you back. He's going to bring you back into the glory, into the favor, into the blessing and the power. Hey, hey. Glory to God. Hey. Jesus. I hear the prophet Jewel says, that God will restore yes. the ears that the canker worm has yes. eaten. Yes. The ears that yes. some people have done for years. Yes. Some people have done for many months yes. and many years. Yes. You have been done, yet still you come to church yes. and you come to church, but you don't have no joy. You don't have no peace. Yes. You don't have no rest. Yes. And it seems as if that God is not doing what he's supposed to do. But I am here to tell you that God is going to restore the years of the country. Yes, Lord. Yes. 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 Jesus. Glory to God. And listen to me. Some of us who are getting up there in age, the Lord said to tell you this morning that guess what? Your latter days are going to most better than the former. Hallelujah. Yes. Your best days are ahead of you. Hallelujah. Age doesn't matter with God. Hallelujah. Because God has a way to receive. like palm tree yes. that bring forth their fruits yes. in their holy age. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You know the palm tree. Yes. Hallelujah. He battered many storms and wind and tempest. But hallelujah in its old age that's the time that the fruit begin to show. Come on, Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord. Hallelujah. Touch somebody and tell him, say, are you a palm tree Christian? Come on. Then in the latter time, your fruit is going to be seen. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Breach. He will repair the breach. He will restore the ears that they can't Worm and the palm worm and the caterpillar. My God, I heat and that God says that I am going to restore you. Jesus come to restore that man, to place them back under the glory and the presence of. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord God. What I was yesterday, hey, hey. God.
God is going to give me a further blessing today because he's going to restore me. He's going to place me. Hallelujah. He's going to build back the whole pathway. Hallelujah. The way that seemed very hard and difficult through the anointing and the blessings of God that God is going to make the path clear. I want every single one of us to get this message and to receive this message today. Yes. Hallelujah. To receive this message that God is going to restore. Yes, he is. You know, everything that the enemy had stolen from you and take away from you, that God is going to restore it. Hallelujah. Some of us, he's going to restore it tenfold. Some of us, he's going to restore it ten, tenfold. Just like you. Job. He was an upright man. Yep. And the devil go to God and petition God for Job. Do you know why he petitioned God for Job? Because Job was living right. Job was doing everything that was right. And he went to God and asked God and said, listen, Job is not serving you because he loves you. But just move them. They, they just, just, just give me, just give me, just breach the wall. Just create a breach and let me just go and touch Job. But in touching, but in can't stop him. Come on, I need some bold Christian today. Hallelujah. He touched you, but he can't stop you. Hallelujah. Because guess what? Guess what? Because guess what? Your life is not your own. It belongs to God. When he see he could not get Job in the first test, he try again. This time he come with a more vicious vengeance. This time when he touched Job, sore came upon the man from the crown of his head to the sole of his foot. He stunk. You could smell Job from out of the street. He smelled, he smelled. The, the, the Bible says that dogs come and lick his sore. Dogs came and licked the man's sword. His Christian brethren that he had around him. When they came to, and they saw his condition. Oh, what you do so bad? I seen your sin, son. What, what sort of disaster come upon you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they, 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 they criticize him. They try to bring him down even though he was down. Yes, yes. You don't lick a man when he's down. Come on, Amen. Come on, Jesus. But the Bible says in this Job sin not. And Job could say, I know that my redeemer lives. Come on, Lord. And even the worm and heat this flesh, I know that my from Kenya. You know all those rebels went into this um, this place this shopping mall 
And they just went in there shooting people. And they asked him, are you a Christian? And if he said yes, they just, just shoot him. And they were showing us live that the camera. So, and they were just shooting people. Just shooting people. Just like that. Just shooting people. If you say you're a Christian, just shooting people. And this lady, she was there with her with her kids, two little girls. And when the guy came over, the little child said, you are a bad man. You are just killing people. You are very bad. And, 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 and he said, well, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry that I'm doing it. And the little child said, you are very bad. And God is displeased with you. God is going to judge you. You are a very bad man. And the mother trying to, you know, some little kids are so bold, yeah. trying to stop the child from saying, because she thought that the man was going to shoot him. But with that boldness of that child, <laughs> the man said, you can go. And he said, sorry. Hallelujah. But we are called a servant of God yes. that some of us are going to be killed. Yes, 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 yes. Some of us, the enemy is going to come in and try to destroy us. Yes. But God is saying that he's going to seal the breach. He's going to seal the path. He's going to seal the door. He's going to seal the crock. He's going to seal the path that the enemy had been coming against. Homosexuality. Mm -hmm. You think it's 
a it's 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 against the church. Yes. 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 Because we stand for righteousness, yes. we stand for holiness, yes. we stand for right things, yes. and the enemy is throwing it right yes. in our face yes. while the people in the church are asleep. Enemy is loose. Come on. Jesus. Rise up, wake up. Yes. Amen. Do not sleep. Eh? Wake up out of your sleep. Yes. Stand up. about age. Mm. You know, come here for stay. This this body, the body is just time outfit. All right, all right. You just here for a period of time. Yes. Hallelujah. And time yes. wait and no man. Yes. My God, time wait and no man. Hallelujah. As you quit, you start to get whole. As you quit, you start to walk with crutches. Yes. As you quit, you're going down yes. and you're going down to the grave. Yes. So walk while it is there. Yes. Because the night cometh when no man can walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Help me. Help me. Because some of us, God gonna take off him big belt, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gonna beat us with all his buckle. Yeah. Because we're wasting God's time. My God, we're wasting the time, the precious salvation that God had delivered to us. Hallelujah. We're playing around and playing and playing and playing while the devil is having the devil is serious and it's changing the world right in front of us. And my God, and they are maddening sin. My God, and the internet and the TV, they're passing laws. Soon finish. Soon we finish. Come on, Lord God. Jesus. Soon finish, but I want you to get the message. Come on, Lord God. That there is a breach in somebody's life. And you allow the devil to come in. And you can't have the victory. And every try, try you try, you feel. Every time you try, you keep on trying, but you're feeling. But God is saying, if you allow me to work to you, I will do what you can do. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, Lord. Glory to God. God is saying to you, yes. if you allow him yes. to come, Give him a chance yes. so he can repair the breach yes. for you. Hallelujah. You know, this, this church should be packed and overpacked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Jesus. Come on, Lord God. Hey, hey. Come on, Lord Jesus. God. We should, not, we, we should not have no empty seat. Yes. You think it's because of God? Are we? Yes. Are you ready for Jesus to return? If Jesus return this afternoon, will he find you ready? If Jesus, if the trumpet should sound today, are you, have to, you have to go and clean up yourself. You have to go and make some things right. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to say, hold on, Jesus. Don't sound the trumpet yet. Don't let Gabriel sound the trumpet. Just give me one chance to go talk to Sister Mary. Just give me one chance to go talk to Brother, Brother John. I give me one chance to go say something to somebody. I just give me one chance to repent. Because even though I've been coming to church, I've not been walking straight before you. Some people are walking straight to the church to hell. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on, Lord. 
going to blame Jesus. Too much blame, too much blame, Jesus. We sin God time. We sin the blood. Jesus. We sin. Wasting God time. Oh, my pain. God, malice in here. Talking here. Yes. My God, not even serious hey, about hey. your walk with the Lord. Oh, my God. God. And God is the speed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The wrath of God hey. is about to push you up on the church. Because before God, before the manifestation and the power of God, God has to set the church right. See your neighbors house on fire. Yes. You better wet yours. Yes. yes. Might just come over. When you see disobedient and Christian living yes. rebelliously and walking contrary to God, yes. and you say malice and all sort of thing happening in the body of Christ, you better begin to pray. Yes. Because yes. guess what? You don't want to be contaminated. Yes. Preach the word. Come on. Some of them ready. Yes. You, you, you notice Jesus said, I, 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 I want to close this, but you know what Jesus Come on, said? Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Jesus said, Jesus. let the tear and the wheat grow together. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Glory to God. Speak. Glory to God. You, you, you know the difference between hey. the tear and the wheat? Mm. The two of them look at yes. us like the same thing. Speak. The only difference between the wheat and the tear yes, is one, one of them bear fruit and the other don't. By their fruit, you shall know them. So when you see the gossipers, and a Jesus fruit that, when you see the tear bearers, and the fruit that, come on, Lord God. Come on, Jesus. Come on. Somebody has a stone. Come on. Preach a word. Preach a word. Hallelujah. Preach a word. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. When you begin to talk about other people and you don't have no, 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 nothing about them, you don't know nothing about them. Hallelujah. You are not bearing the fruit. When you can't love your brother and love your sister, you're not bearing the fruit. Come on, Lord God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're tear. You're not weak. Yes. Yes. Come on, Lord God. Hallelujah. Restoration. Come on. Restore. Hallelujah. I preached on a message once, and the message is that there are four set of people in the church. Yes, come on. The unbeliever, the believer, yes. and the make-believer, come on. and the doubters. Come on. The make-believer mm-hmm. is the one who thinks that they're making it, yes. Yes. but they don't live right to make it. So they do about anything and they act anyway. Come on, Lord. And sometimes, sometimes when when something happens and the world begins to point and say, Oh, him say I'm a Christian. I know a Christian that that had a tear. Because Christians do what is right. And when you see something happening in church and you see the sister or the brother doing certain things, it's not a, a weed that has a tear. Because Christians.
why you go to church. says let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me yes. all his wonders compassion yes. and purity oh yes. the nature of the fine oh spirit divine yes. till the beauty of Jesus be seen in me restore, restore, if you feel like coming to the altar just come and, and make a new commitment to the Lord just come right now come quickly hallelujah just come and make a new commitment to the Lord Hallelujah. Some of us, oh, preach. Oh, God, is only God can help us. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Oh, glory to hey. God. Glory to God. Hey. Glory to God. Hey. Glory to God. Hey. Oh, Lord, the hey. Lord promised that hey. he will seal the wound. He will have the oil. He will have the wine. Hallelujah. He will heal your brokenness. He will bring you back. He will give you peace. Hallelujah. Come on, everyone. At the altar, begin to cry out and begin to pray and ask God to just repair every breach. Repair. Repair every gap that the enemy had come in through to you. Come on. Everybody begin to pray. Come on. Come on. Everyone begin to pray. Come on. Hallelujah. If you're on the internet, begin to pray. You stream, begin to pray. Begin to pray and ask God to restore you. Hallelujah, the Lord promised that he will restore you. He will restore your joy. He will restore your walk. He will restore your talking. He will restore your prayer life. He will restore you. He will restore all oh, your Bible reading. He will restore you. Hallelujah, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. everyone begin to pray everybody begin to pray hallelujah hallelujah lord in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh god we make a fresh commitment to you today oh god almighty in the name of jesus 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 oh god seal every entrances seal every door seal every way that the enemy come in at us oh father in the name of jesus and help us from today be begin to live and begin to do the things that are right today lord come on everybody begin to pray come on come on cry out to the lord 
Cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, you know where the enemy has been coming through to you. You know, you know where your wall has been breached. You know. Come on, cry out to the Lord. Glory, 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 glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God in this house this morning. This afternoon, Lord God, as you have given your children, dear Lord God, the one in Lord Jesus. Gracious Father, we pray right now, Lord God, for the restore in the mighty name of Jesus to come upon this house right now, Lord God. You remember in the name of Jesus right now, Lord God, whatever they are in need of, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that the blood of the living God may restore what the devil tried to steal in the name of Jesus. Dear children, Lord God, dear husband, dear wife, in the mighty name of Jesus, because I know that my Redeemer lives, and I know that he lives in you, in the mighty name of Jesus. Gracious Father, may you change everything that has been broken, every single thing that has been broken, everything that has been broken right now, Lord God. We pray that the blood of Jesus, the blood that wash, the blood that cleanse, the blood that purify in the name of Jesus right now, Lord God. No weapon shall form against this young man, shall prosper in the name of Jesus. No war, nothing, Lord God, nothing in the name of Jesus. Dear God, you know that there's a lot of tongues that rise up against him. But in the mighty name of Jesus, in the power of the Lamb, your name, Jesus, glory to your name, Lord God, because you have restored them. You have taken back everything that the devil tried to steal from him, Lord God. Heavenly Father, you know that he have an attitude problem, Lord God. You see that he have an anger problem, Lord God. But in the mighty name of Jesus, I know who restore. And he is restoring everything right now, Lord God. Don't worry about the thing. Because God has taken care of you. You make the first part of coming to his house and give him your heart. And God will never forget you. God will always lead you. So don't watch nothing. Don't watch nothing. Everything that 